time to winterize the RV. located in the rear on this camper. Well, campers are a little bit different. And what you're going to see in here is the back side of everything, but most important, my two low-level drains there. Even though they're capped on the outside, they have a shut-off valve on the inside. So it's real important we uh, pop those open, get that water out. As you can see, the water pump's there. That takes the water from the tank and pumps it up into the system. All right, we're going to blow out the complete water system with compressed air before we add the antifreeze. Before we do that, though, you need to drop your water filter and pull the filter cartridge out and put a water bottle on the inside. And then screw it back on. The water bottle will just displace some of the antifreeze you're putting in. So this thing doesn't have to fill completely up with the antifreeze to uh, start loading the pipes up. So we'll move along to that in a second. Here, let me get a bucket. to remove the water filter. Hmm. I'm glad I had that filter in there. Filthy. Dirty. Okay, so now you want to put a water bottle in Something that's going to fit just right. I'm going to try this empty Pepsi. And what that does, it just takes up a lot of space in this cartridge. Okay, that one. You know, it should work. Let me try that again. below that surface. Okay. So, right now I'm gonna put air to the system and blow out all the water in the lines that I can. And then I will pump in the antifreeze. 
So this, because it's the main, this will receive antifreeze. If I didn't have the Pepsi bottle in there, this whole quart or whatever it is will be filled with antifreeze. It's a waste. You don't need to do that. So that's why we put the Pepsi bottle inside. All right, so now we're going to pitch up the air compressor. And how we do that, we'll take this off of here. See why these were 50 cents at the restore. We'll take the hose off of there. And then we have this little device. This will screw in where the garden hose goes on. And this is, has a nipple for the air. Now, one thing that's real important on here, I'm gonna go through the regulator, but I need to set up the air compressor so it has no more than 40 PSI. I'm going to set it between 40 and 35 PSI. Okay, we're going to go into the camper go to each faucet and then open them up Like I said, there's only 40 PSI in the system. That's where we run our water out. Okay, that's the kitchen sink. Go to the toilet. One bathroom sink.
Shower. Okay. One other thing I do. Here, we'll put the breaker on. I put the washing machine in a rinse cycle. Now you see here the rinse, so I'll hit it on A, do a rinse, and then I'm going to come back once the antifreeze gets in the system, I'll do a rinse again, and then I'll go to C and do a drain. So that takes care of all the faucets in here, all the blinds. Then we'll go back out and hitch up our rainy freeze. Okay, that's all I'm going to use the air compressor for. So we can pull that out of the circuit now. store that in here so it's in the same place all the time okay so now we need to hitch up to the winterized suction port all right so I need to get a short hose to go to here and then something will stick into the jug I don't think this one will I had one made up, I just don't know what happened to it. We want to look under there, I don't see it. That's okay. We'll make up another one. Okay, cut this off here. Alrighty, we'll start with a fresh jug. Hopefully that works. Alright, 
So we need to move this up to winterize. Okay, so now I'm going to go into the RV and I'm going to start opening things up now that it has antifreeze in it. But first thing I want to do is top off this jug so we don't run out while I'm walking around opening things up. One thing that's important also to do is make sure you've got antifreeze down inside the um, down inside the uh, traps because they are full of fresh water and which will freeze and crack your trap open. So, all right, let's head back into the camper. See if we can get some antifreeze down through all the lines. First stop is the kitchen. We're going to go to hut. And what that will do is run it through this section of hut line, but also through the tankless hot water heater. And I just run it till I see a nice flow of pink. Like that. And then we'll switch over to the cold water there we go nice flow of pink don't forget the toilets there you go now the kitchen sink basically charged the main line so we won't take one. There's pink. There's pink. And we're getting it into the drain also. Maybe a little bit more in there. There you go. Okay. Do the shower first. Cold. outside and reload that jug. Let's go do that. Okay, we reloaded the jug. Cold. Plenty of pink. Hot. Plenty. Okay. And maybe a little more for that trap. Toilet. There you go. And very important, do not forget the washer. So, like I said, this time we're going to run this on a, uh, a rinse. 
that will get water in and then we'll do a drain and that will take the return system including the loop on the way out so giddy up See the pink in the bottom? Well, that run a little while. These washers are very expensive, so a little bit more antifreeze is not gonna break the bank. I think I hear it. That jug must be running out. I'm gonna pause it. I'm gonna go reload that jug. Make sure we have plenty in this. It is the last step.